All right, we are at Renander's and we're gonna see if we can find some stuff. Sandy is back there. Jocelyn's yes, there. We're gonna look at some stuff. All right, I forgot my GoPro, so it's gonna be a little shakier. I'm using my phone today, but we'll be back to the GoPro next video. I just, in this video, mainly gonna show you some really, really cool stuff. I thought I would just share with you some of the neat stuff I saw. Look at all of these owls. Most of the stuff at the antique fairs are a little too high priced if you're reselling. These owls are carved. They are absolutely beautiful. The one is 35 and then this vase is 90. I thought that was pretty cool with the blue and the red. Now here, this is actually a booth I spent a lot of money with back in November. We are at Renninger's Antique Fair and it goes on in November, January and February. And I used my GoPro to record back in November, but this time I had my phone and I am going to pause here because she yelled at me to stop recording. Very, very rudely <laughs> yelled at me to stop recording. So the booth I spent the most money with last time I was here is now getting none of my money. We're going to stop looking there. We're going to move on. Check out this amazing, this is a Weechall mask. It is 15, but it should actually sell for about 60 to 65. So this is a really good find. And I absolutely love the colors on that one. So we are going to pick that up. And again, I know this is very jumpy. But the GoPro will be back next video. Check out this amazing bear carved Native American pottery. This one's 15. I think it should sell for at least 65. But it might sell for more. So I'm going to have to look it up. I didn't take the tape off to see the signature. And this is really, really pretty Gouda pottery. I was not familiar with it, but I think it's priced right at about what I would be able to get for it. Now here, check out this amazing, this is an older, it does say China on the bottom, but it is a carved bowl. I'm showing it to Jocelyn. Crazy Lamp Lady is right next to me. They have $175 on it. So I decided I was going to stop touching that thing. And then I love the enamel on copper. This one I didn't see a price. I'm not a big fan of stuff not priced. A lot of times I don't want to ask. And this was a really, really cool look at it. It looks like a mushroom glass paperweight really really neat piece i haven't seen anything quite like that before so i thought that was super super cool and then jocelyn is looking at this amazing iridescent vase but we couldn't figure out who the maker was and they wanted 250 so we decided to leave it but it was a really really pretty iridescent base and then i wanted to show you guys these these are swizzle sticks and some of these can be really valuable i didn't see any here that were but i wanted to kind of put that in your head watch for swizzle sticks because some of them can be pretty valuable most of this stuff looks more contemporary so i think we are going to just not get anything i sold those exact little butter spreads but they took two years to sell so i don't want to do that again look at these teacups 38 dollars for this set which is not bad but it's not marked so honestly it probably would not sell for much more than that be very careful picking up unmarked teacups some of them are not very valuable. That was a pretty Queen Anne set. Now here, there's a little owl that Jocelyn's looking at. But look at this amazing paperweight. I'm not sure about this. Jocelyn was saying she thinks it's Murano because of the way the gold flecks are in it. And it was, I believe, $10. So I think we are going to get this one. I was asking him how much it is and let's see if we see anything else super super pretty kind of cobalt blue purple and his prices seem pretty fair here 
And again, sorry for all the jumpiness. I promise it will be gone. <laughs> Next video. Look at this gorgeous antique purse. So because it's ripped, he only wanted $2. And I can get a lot more than that for that one. So I'm definitely going to get that. And I really like these mats down here. But I wasn't really sure what they were. So I decided to leave those. Jocelyn picked up this gorgeous purse, the one she put down in front of me. But Jocelyn has good taste, and this is sterling silver, and it is $225. So Jocelyn has very, very, very good taste. It's crazy that the $200 purse is laying right next to the $2 purse. So I'm just going to get the $2 purse, and we'll see what else we see. Look at this little vase. It was so pretty. Now, here, everything that was on this table was $10. And tell me what you see that you like. I love this little vase. And this paperweight is very well made. It's not signed. But I think for $10, I'm going to end up grabbing that one. And then look at the Bulacante on this. So if you don't know... Bull Conte is simply controlled bubbles. You can see how the bubbles are very, very uniform in this one. And that is called Bull Conte. They had some clear Fenton bears. Those I don't think I could get very much for. But the colored Fenton bears, if you come across them, are worth a little bit more. I, I told you I had to go back and get that really cool spiral paperweight. And here's some more. This guy had some amazing, amazing glass. And I absolutely love these two paperweights. I think for $10, it's a great deal. Look at all of this pretty glass. There's so much gorgeous stuff here. Beautiful, beautiful. And I know Sandy, my flippin' van life, ended up picking up some stuff from here as well. All right. This is the kind of booth that I could have. This was all vintage linens. And unfortunately, it was all at prices that I would charge. But I really wanted to show you guys some of this. And this is all that this lady does is only vintage linens. That was a beautiful round tablecloth with fringe. She has some amazing, amazing pieces in here. That one that is just below it is very, very similar to one that I just sold for 45 which is what she's asking. So I do believe it's a fair price for collectors, but as a reseller, there is no room. And I wanted to show you guys this doll. I thought this was pretty cool. All of her clothing was handmade. And I just love, love, love. Look at the parrot. She had some amazing, amazing pieces in here. It was just at a collector's price. I was hoping to get some deals because the rain was coming the next two days. But unfortunately, there were no deals. I was hoping, though. But you can always look at places like this and enjoy it. And here you can touch and feel and see and learn. And antique malls are the same way as well. So when you can get your hands on these things, definitely do because you learn what they look like, what they feel like. That one was absolutely beautiful, large piece of fabric. I believe she wanted like 75 or 100. And look at this gorgeous yo-yo quilt little pillow cover she wanted I think 25 or 30 for that one which again is about where I would sell it but I wanted to share with you guys because she had some beautiful beautiful pieces all right let's see what else we can find look at this gorgeous blue nesting doll it is vintage, but it's from the 90s, so it's not an older one. I was asking him how much for it. He told me he wanted 15 and unfortunately, it only sells for about 25 And this one was not a nesting doll. It was solid. I was shaking it like something would come out all of a sudden. But a super cool piece. You can see it signed 1992. But again, for me, I probably wouldn't pay more than 5 because it'll only sell 
for about 30 or 35 and there's Kate follow that bug vintage if you guys do not know look at her bread purse and she's getting these super cool pea pods they had baby faces and baby butts and this is a vaseline or uranium piece but from what i am seeing most of his prices are again closer to retail which is what i expect when i go to the antique fair these are super cool little 10 toys it's like a show and tell for you guys All right, I'm with Sandy, my flippin' van life. Her specialty is glass. She's sewing us this awesome Vaseline Jack in the Pulpit vase. And she is going to show us, check this out with the black light. How amazing is this vase? And this vendor was very smart. She had the black light out on the table so that people could check things. And that one was absolutely beautiful. This vase caught my eye with the little Millefiori flowers. But I think they had it at like... 125 which i i didn't think left much room for profit and if you guys disagree with me on any of these definitely let me know and let's see what we can see there's jocelyn she is looking at this awesome art so i thought i would share it with you guys i'm sure you'll see it in some of her videos as well but this was a local artist and her stuff is so so cool really really neat pieces they had vintage flies and look at this i think it's a little axolotl gorgeous little axolotl there and the fish this beautiful beautiful folk art that's dagny flying pick thrift she can barely see her and see jocelyn here's some more i just had to show you guys these the face jugs are super, super cool. Look at the rabbit. These pieces are just amazing. I love the one with the bees. And then here, look at the lion mane. And that octopus is absolutely amazing. Look at the little witch. Some really, really cool pieces. All right, I had to show you this Kachina pillow. She said she'd give it to me for 60, but I think I could probably only get about 75. So I had to leave it. I was very, very sad. All right, so I didn't get a ton at Renninger's. I love, look at this bear etched pottery. I haven't taken it off to see the signature. I paid 15. Hopefully I can get like 50 to 60, maybe a little bit more. I got this really cool paperweight. I'm going to have to research it. Jocelyn was saying she thinks it might be Murano with the gold flex. So we will see. This purse was only $2, which was an incredible, incredible deal. And then I got these two paperweights for $10 each. This one has some nice Bolaconte. It does have a polished bottom. Not signed. And then the little swirl one as well and then this is called wee chaw this is a wee chaw mask i did pay 15 for this one but it should go for about 65 and then he gave me the little wee chaw bowl it's in a little gourd to match it and then the last things i got at renders were all free so i got these prints allison shaw photographer look at this this is my favorite one the russian blue the cat with the frog that one, the little girl with the weaving wheel, and then the boat print. So that's all I got at Renninger's. I didn't find a ton. Jocelyn found a ton, crazy lamp lady, but we didn't find much, but we had fun hanging out with everyone. So if you're interested in any of these, shoot me an email, thenurseflipper at yahoo.com. Thank you.